With all those books in his library, you'd think that Strahd was holding the knowledge of the land hostage. In a way, he is. By keeping the knowledge to himself, he prevents the people from using that power to rise up against him. And without that power, they're helpless. Helpless apart from what we can do. We can face Strahd, for we have the knowledge of what he truly is. It makes me wonder how many other people know that he's a vampire. If they do know, they're likely keeping it secret. For if word spread to Strahd that they knew, they'd cease to be. Strahd wouldn't summon them here and kill them, or just send agents of his will to kill them. It is truly a terrible place to live. Indeed. But it won't be for much longer. Once we've dealt with Strahd, the people will be free. Hopefully. Let us hope another tyrant doesn't rise up to take his place. We can't do anything about that. All we can do is what we can. Now let's move. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ravenloft Strahd's Possession, and when last we left off, we are here in the Rooms of Weeping, and we have this room to explore. Hopefully it's not going to contain any enemies. And it doesn't. It seems like it contains absolutely nothing. It's just a way to get from one place to another. Though I'm curious about this wall. Nope, this wall is not an illusionary one. There are probably illusionary walls scattered about here and there. For instance, I'm looking here because there are lots and lots of bookshelves here, but not there. And that either tells me that Strahd hasn't got round to collecting enough books yet, or there's something about there that I have not yet grasped. Now, let us try. Nothing here, fireplace there, and... Oh! I had a feeling that there was a secret concealed there. No books where there should have been books. And all we found is another wall. Clearly another secret. Somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. There! And behind it, trouble. We were expecting that, though. I don't like that sound, though. That sound is not good. That sounds like an enemy I'm gonna have to take care of now. If it is a zombie golem, I have a plan. But it wasn't. It was just some more, uh, doom guards that take quite a, uh, large number of hits, but they're gone. Right. Nothing here. Another dead end. More illusionary walls? Probably. Let's check them carefully. Not here. Not here, which means that it's probably here. Gonna save again. Going to ready a spell. Hmm, not here, actually. Huh. Here, then? Ah! Yep! Yep, there is the uh, zombie golem! Right, I have a plan. And that plan is that I am going to... Maybe it's where the spider web is. Either way, I'm going to ready turn undead. No, not there. Here. And it makes the golem... Spin! Dance, zombie golem, dance! Dance for our amusement, and it is gone. Quick thinking there with your holy symbol. I had a feeling it would work. Good thing, too. That looked like it could pack a punch. In here we have a wand of fireballs, which we'll take. And... The Ravenloft Silver Tower Key. That seems very useful. Also, I still can't get over the fact that they spin. Normally, when Turn Undead is used, um, if they're weak enough, they get destroyed, and if they're not weak enough, they flee. Not spin. Well, spinning effectively does the same thing, which is that they're not attacking. And when they're not attacking, they can't who shot my party? Well, 
two shots per character. And I'm glad for that, though it is very silly. I'll have to try that on other undead at some point. Clearly, Alorora is a strong enough cleric that uh, that'll work on pretty much anything. Also, negative name protection, because we never know when we might find a vampire here. Right, let's get that as well. And we're definitely going to save after that encounter. And we're going to see if that key works on that door. Let's find out. Just gotta go through here, through here, and this door here. Nah, it's not the right color. It's not the right color. I can't seem to make this key work. It must be for a door other than this. Fair enough. We have three keys on that. Right, I think we've pretty much done everything that we can here. Or maybe not, because I can still hear some very dangerous enemies. I'm curious. Is there a secret wall down here? The answer is no. That's the stairs down. What about the other side? If it's the other side, we're ready with Turn Undead some more, because we need those zombie golems to strut their dance moves! Yes? Oh yes! Dance! Dance, zombie golems! This one's like, no! I I'm going to... I'm going to run! I wonder how long you're going to run for? Probably... Oh! There's more than just zombie golems! Okay, how long are you terrified for? Probably a long time. Oh, and when we get close enough, they then just start dancing! That is very interesting! That is very interesting! And... How's our experience doing after this? You have 52,000 required, 7,000 required, only 8,000 for mage, and you've clearly leveled up a few times, because you're now level 7, 7, and 7, so, uh, you're about to become a level 8 thief. So, if we go to Velika, you can do that there, and three... Ah! You've got another level 1 spell. And I haven't actually prepared those, I really should have. Either way... There we go! All sorted. Those things are tough. Imagine facing them without holy power at your side. I fear we will get absolutely destroyed were that the case. I'm glad you're here, even though being here is unfortunate. Thank you. Now, what's over- ooh, stairs. There are stairs here. There's also that corridor there that I probably want to go down, because it likely has goodies. And if not goodies, enemies. Hello. Oh, here you come. We can probably deal with you without, uh, oh, without, uh, having any turn undead ready. Although we should probably switch these around just in case. We never know what we might find around the corner! The answer is... you. This is a long, long corridor, and I wonder where it... Oh! Well... That... was interesting. That was a, uh... a trap that... You wouldn't really be able to avoid that well. That was just a large quantity of lightning bolts. Huh. Otherwise known as a, uh, something you have to memorize. Right. Lightning bolts galore, eh? Just gotta stick to the left hand side. Just over here. 
Okay, we're not dead. We're not dead. That... That was a dangerous venture. Indeed. I'm barely conscious. But I have magic enough to restore you. That's good. That's good. The last thing I want is to be ambushed in this state. You might need to use your own healing, though. I will. I will. We're gonna have to go back that way at some point. Yes, we will. And I'm not looking forward to it. I doubt any of us are. Okay, that was a thing. Also, Velika is nearly dead. I'm very glad we actually managed to survive that. Also, how are we going to get back? Also, what was here that was worth doing this for? Well, only way to find out is to uh, rest up and explore. And people may wonder why I decided to uh, heal up before trying that. It was, it was just in case we couldn't rest up. I'd rather not get ambushed. I don't think the game has the whole, uh, you're ambushed while you rest, but just in case it does at some point, that is why. You could never be too careful when you're walking around the castle of a very powerful vampire, after all. Saying that, I just walked down a corridor where we just got assailed by tons of lightning bolts. If only we had the ability to resist lightning damage. But no, we don't have that power. Right. Let's keep looking around. Is there anything here at all? All there really is is uh, a corner. These, these are probably the uh, towers. Uh oh, uh oh, 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 dead. Flee and spin. Do the zombie spin. Do the zombie spin. Excellent. Stairs down. Huh. Well, let's give them a try. Ah! A golem! This leads to here, which is a room probably full of items. Oh yes, this is a room full of items. And a trap. Oh! Well, this leads to a familiar place. Indeed it does. Let us explore here first and grab what we need. Or not, as the case may be. We were teleported away. There must be a way over there. Or maybe not. Maybe not. That treasure is tempting me. Is there a... Ah! That may do it. A secret way through. Or another button. Buttons to uncover buttons. Allowing us to get closer. was a sneaky little uh, puzzle. What do we have here? An arrow. An arrow. Okay, are these magic arrows? They might be magical. Magic arrow? Nope. Magic arrow? Nope. Magic arrow? Yes! This arrow is actually magical. Okay, we want that. We want that instead of this one. Arrow. Not magical. Arrow. Not magical. Arrow. Not magical. That is definitely a non-magical arrow. That's another one. I've just got to double check. It's what I threw. Then there's the armor. It's chainmail. It's entirely non-magical chainmail. Well, getting one magic arrow is a fine reward. A fine reward. Right, let us uh, make our way back. And also note that there's this way here that we can keep exploring. 
And in here? Ah! Some, uh, cake tons ointment. Not gonna say no to this. This is useful. Healing. Restorative from poison. Well, that's useful if we uh, encounter any more of the bandits that poison us in Barovia Village, but we haven't encountered them for a while. Right, we need to make our way... Now that we've actually done this and defeated... That brings us uh, right back to here, which is actually kind of useful. Um, now that we're here, we can head down these stairs and then look to find a way back to the cellar. This leads to... Ooh! This just leads to here! Huh! And this leads... down... Down into the cellar! Perfect! We can now go and deal with that zombie golem in the room that I tried to explore earlier, because we know their weakness now! It's music! They just can't resist a good old-fashioned boogie on down. I'm still going to save just in case one of them lands a hit. I presume there's going to be more than one. But let's go and, uh, see what they can do. Here you come! Dance! Or don't- oh, now you're dancing! Marvelous! And, uh, Anselm has gained a level. And our reward is a key. The Ravenloft Tower Key, which probably would have been useful before when we were trying to get to Anne's Helm. Either way, let's head up some more. Should have had this spell ready, but this room seems entirely empty. Oh, this room also has a illusionary wall that we can use to get back to the court of the Count, which is useful. So let's, uh, go through here. That brings us back to this room. And somewhere around here, there is a stairway. Here. Stairway up. That brings us to here. Exactly to where we want to be, I think. Because there might be... Yep. Another stairway here. Where there's one, there's probably more than one. Alright, let's move up. Be ready with that holy symbol. I'm ready as I'll ever be. This is... the main and secondary towers, but the upper part of it. We have only... a locked door. Ah, we have that key! But I'm curious as to whether we could use Velika's lockpicks to open it. Ah, no, we need the key for this one. Fortunately, we have the key. And in here, more stairs up. And we need that turn on dead again. Okay, we don't need it for you. Oh, lightning bolts galore here. Okay. They are keeping this tower very secure. Whoever's being held here must be deemed far more important than I was. Whoever they are will free them. They do not deserve to be contained in this prison. Okay, we have... Nothing here but lightning. I'm going to save before we move forward here. Oh, nothing? Okay. And... Turn undead. By the way, I love the fact that they, in this instance, are using the fact that you can disguise teleporters as stairways. That's pretty awesome. Okay, what's here? There's something here. Illusionary wall? There's something here. This can't be the end of the tower. I don't believe it either, Anselm. There's something about this. 
Exactly. Something about this place. A secret way. And another one. Leading to a button that'll probably open up the real way forward. Whoever's here is being guarded jealously. Let's find out who. Hello! How goes it? I'm here to... Oh! I don't know who that was. No, I, I do. In the blur of combat, I barely saw their face, but I think that was the person who'd been trying to extract information out of me. Well, he's dead now. As a prisoner on the wall, we must free them. Great merciful bloodstained gods, are you able to speak? What? Did you say? Where is the Inquisitor? The Inquisitor! Free me, please! I can't stand this think of the thing a moment longer! I'm not unsympathetic to what you've just gone through, mind you, but we are in your debt. Is there anything you can tell us to help us in our quest? No one can help you now. If ever you escape this place, seek out Bray Martakova. We are of a brotherhood. He may help you if you identify yourself by the signs of the brotherhood. I will give you a feather. Make certain Bray sees it, then speak to him of the nest, and he'll respond by the feather. He will speak with the tongue of ravens, and you must answer. Tiganus Iloke Iluchia Keen. It is all I can do. Come with us then, won't you? We can protect you, and our own security lies in greater numbers. None are secure in Strahd's domain. A moment longer, and that undead abomination would have broken down the doors of my very soul. I would have told the Inquisitor anything. I wish you well, but I must make my own way to freedom. The safety of others depends upon my immediate escape. That I wish you luck. Uh, May the holders of the feather bless you with their aid. Farewell, my friend. Did... did that man transform into a raven? Yes. A were-raven. I'd heard of their existence, but I'd never seen one before in the flesh. We truly have been blessed. I... I don't know what to say. What we should say is, let's get out of here and go to that tavern. We have someone to meet. I yes, yes, we do. Let's. With all haste, let's. And so, when we come back, folks, we've just freed a were-raven, and hopefully made some friends that can help us oppose Strahd. I think we've done everything we need to do here. We've explored quite a lot of locations. And if we do the uh, auto map, we oh, we are probably going to see that uh, most of the uh, locations are pretty full. Also, the wizard's dwelling, tiniest map. And so, we'll make a hasty retreat and then go and check out the tavern. It's not that far away. I just hope that Strahd doesn't get mad when we try to flee. Especially considering we freed both of his prisoners. Yeah, I imagine he's going to be quite mad. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.